Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I thought I would bust out a few products that I haven't used in a really long time that used to be kind of YouTube cult favourites, but yeah, they haven't been seen on YouTube for a couple of years. One including MAC Soft and Gentle. And then a lipstick that I bought probably a fair few months ago that I've only probably worn once and just want to rediscover some old products. Um, so to start with, you want to go in and moisturize your face. I've already done that. Um, I've just applied a light layer all over the face. And then, what am I saying? And then for foundation, today I'm just going to take my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Vanilla. And I've just taken a piece size and added it to the back of my hand and I'm just going to apply it to my face. I really, really love the consistency of this foundation. It, um, yeah, it just looks really, really nice on the skin. It doesn't sort of sit in any fine lines, and um, yeah, it is really nice and glowy. I would say it's got a satin finish. I wouldn't say it's a matte or anything like that, but yeah, it definitely has a satin finish. And yeah, it's nice and buildable, so you can really build it up um, to get the coverage that you want out of it. And then I'm just going to take a buffing brush and just buff over the top of it, just to smooth out any sort of areas where the foundation would be clinging to my skin. So I'm just going to leave the skin there, and now I'm just going to go on and prime my eyes, and I'm just going to be taking Max Paintly Paint Pot and just running a decent amount all over my eyelids because I want the eyeshadows to stay in place. So the palette I'm going to be using today is probably the uh, Modern Renaissance palette. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take, uh, looking at the colours, I'm just going to go in with the warm brownie colours, keep it quite neutral because of the lip I'm using. Um, yeah, you've got to kind of keep the eyes quite neutral. So I'm going in with Tempura, that bony coloured um, eyeshadow in the palette and I'm just taking that all over the lid right up to the brow bone and then for a transition shade I'm probably going to go in with a tiny bit of raw sienna and golden ochre and I'm kind of going to take it on the outside third of the eye and press it on that part there and then I'm just going to take Primavera and put it in the middle part of my lid. And then just to add a little bit more definition to the outer, um, the outer part of the eye, I'm just going to take Max Mystery Eyeshadow and I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush and just kind of press it to the outer and create like a small wing. So what am I going to do? I'm probably just going to leave the eyes there and go, well I'm not leaving the eyes there, I'm going to go in with liquid liner and do quite, hopefully quite a good flick. Ah, yeah, and the liquid liner I'm using is what I always use, my Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's just, it's a really good liner if you struggle with liner at the best of times, which I'm sure a lot of us do. It's a really hard thing to master. Liner, it's still, it's not as crisp as I would like it to be. I'm just going to take, oh, just going to go back in with that mystery eyeshadow. If you've got a black, you could use a black, but... Um, I don't have a black here, so all I'm going to do is just take um, an angled brush. This is a MAC 226 angled brush and just press it in there. Oh. Actually, maybe I do need to go get a black. So I'm just going to go in with MAC Carbon Eyeshadow and just press it in over the top of that liner. And that's just, oh, there goes my phone. And that's just going to sandwich those products into place. And kind of make the liner look a little bit crisp and 
Next, you just want to go in and add your mascara, and I'll be using my Monaco Fat Lash Monaco Fat Lash Mascara. I haven't actually used this mascara in a while, so it'd be it's probably well past its use by date, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm just going to add a couple of coats to my eyes to really build up the intensity. It is clumping at my lashes, so that probably means I am due to chuck it out, but you know, I'm lazy and I haven't got around to it and I just want to keep using it until the very end. So, um, I was going to go in with lashes, but I just think with the lip look I'm going to be using, it might be a little bit overkill. So I'm going to leave the eyes there and go on and do my brows and I'll probably skip through this step. Um, just because I've done my brows as the same thing that I use in all my tutorials, it is, hang on, let me just get it for you, um, my NYX brow pencil in taupe, and then I just run over it with some uh, Benefit Gummy Brow in light medium, so that's what I'll be doing there. Uh, for concealer, I'm going to be using one that I used to use in all my tutorials and it's a bit of an oldie that used to be a favourite here on YouTube as well and it is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I just love um, the consistency of it. It's, um, you know, it blends in well with the skin. It's not too heavy. It doesn't settle into any fine lines, which I really, really like considering my age. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really good everyday concealer. Um, it's got a doe foot um, applicator so it makes it nice and easy you don't have to fuss too much even though I'm using a brush you could use your finger um, but yeah it's just a really really good concealer and I don't think I will ever ever get sick of it. I'm just gonna go in and set the middle portion of my face just with my MAC um, setting powder in light medium so I'm just underneath my eyes just around my nose because that's during especially during the winter time that's where I tend to get quite red and blotchy um, my chin area definitely around this area but we can go back and perfect that afterwards and then for blush I'm actually going to be taking max warm soul blush this is yeah just really hang on let me get my blush brush probably need that this is just a really nice warm blush. It adds a little bit of color, but nothing that's going to be too intense. So I'm just going in and dusting it up onto the cheekbones. It can also be used as a highlight um, during the summertime as well, if you've got quite nice olive skin. But And then for bronzer, I am on the hunt for a new bronzer. So um, give me some recommendations in, down in the... Um, the comment section but yeah I'm just gonna go in with Max, um, not MAC, NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm just using a MAC 135 brush to apply it. For my lips, I'm just going to be taking one of the Everlasting uh, Liquid Lipsticks and it is in the colour Woof. Woof. And then for highlight, I'm just going to go in and take Max Soft and Gentle Highlighter and just add it to my cheekbones. And then lastly, I'm just going to take some of that Raw Sienna um, and just run it under my lash line. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. As always, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.